So yesterday it was reported by several different assorted wrestling websites that Vince McMahon apparently was very displeased with the in-ring work of many of the main roster talents, and specifically some of the larger performers, such as guys like Keith Lee and Otis, etc., and that he had issued an edict that they needed to take their asses down to the Performance Center on Tuesdays and Thursdays and apparently work with Adam Pearce and Drew Gulak and learn how to be better and work on their stuff and be better in the ring. And for some reason, a lot of people in the wrestling world seem to be really bothered by this and upset about this. And it seems like they're almost taking this as a personal insult. And I gotta admit, there are plenty of reasons to hate Vince McMahon. There are plenty of reasons to knock and criticize Vince McMahon. I'm just not getting what the hell everybody's got their panties in a bunch for on this. Why? Like, and I'm not necessarily going to take the, the tact of, well, he really cares about guys like Keith Lee and Otis and some of these other dudes. So as a result, he's sending them down there because he wants them to get better because he sees big potential out of them. And, you know, maybe in part that could be true. In deference to Vince, I don't know Vince McMahon personally. I cannot understand what is going through his mind all the time. To be fair, even those that work closest with him, work associates, family, they don't know what the hell is going on in that senile old codger's mind a lot of times. So I can't even begin to pretend to know every single thing about him. But I saw people talking about how this was disrespectful to those guys. I saw some people talking about you know, how this was racist that he was sending Keith Lee back down, and I'm sitting there saying, what the f Racist? There is plenty of history there of troubling and concerning behavior by the company, by Vince, towards non-white wrestlers, specifically black wrestlers. You can look at the gimmicks and the way they're featured, the stereotypes that are demonstrated. You can look at the way that some guys aren't pushed or things that happen. All of those things... The lack of black world champions. All of those things you could point to and have a great conversation about, a valid conversation about, with a lot of ammunition in your holster, a lot of things that you could counter of those that would strike back against you with. This ain't one of them. It's not. Like you could sit there and talk about whether it's stupid or not, maybe. Or if you see that the problem with Keith Lee is not in-ring work, but, you know, this company not really having a vision of what to do with them. Like, those are valid concerns. Those are valid criticisms. Those are valid responses. But to sit there and say because it would happen to be Keith Lee and a couple of the other larger wrestlers were also black, like, well, how do you account for Otis? And I'm sure that those are just the names that we know about. There were probably others, too. Like, not everything is always about race. There's a lot in this world that is. And there are still tons and tons of issues that as much as we try to minimize them and say, oh, look at how much progress we've really made. How much progress have we really made? Like, come on. But when you bring it up in bad situations like this where it's not appropriate and it doesn't fit, it's just clown school stuff. It is. So stop that. Stop it! And what I don't get about this whole thing is you don't have... The house show circuit now. These guys aren't traveling the road. They're not doing three, four, five shows a week. So where are they going to practice, imply their trade, and improve their craft and their skills? You know what I mean? Like, if anything, I would sit there and say that it's kind of disappointing that these guys potentially have taken the thought process of, well, we've made it to the big show now. We've made it to the main roster, whether that's Raw or SmackDown. And therefore, as a result, we're just going to enjoy the time off and not work hard at our craft and continue to improve and get better because we don't have to worry about it because we're not traveling all over the place right now. To me, that is totally, completely ridiculous. If anything, Vince shouldn't have to be sending these guys down to do any of that crap because they should already be doing it themselves. Right? And imagine being outraged about 
asking guys to go from Tampa to Orlando, where a lot of them live anyways, and asking them to work with guys like Adam Pearson, Drew Gulak, for a couple hours, two times a week. What's so bad about that? What's so wrong about that? What's so tough about that? To me, it's nothing. That's stupid. Now, if you want to question the, the, the thought process of Vince here, of like, why are you focusing on these this certain set of guys when so much of your roster doesn't know how the hell to really actually truly work, especially WWE style, and a lot of them wrestle some type of glorified high production value indie crash fest fucking spot show crap. I would agree with that. I would say, if anything, the edict should be sent to everybody across the board. Get your ass down to the Performance Center Tuesday and Thursday. If you're not an absolute top talent, that's where the hell you need to be. If you're not already there, you should be there and you need to be there. That's valid. If you want to say, well, you got so many of these guys that don't know how to be a character to save their damn lives and couldn't cut a promo to save their damn lives, why in the hell aren't you sending everybody else down to do some promo school and to work and get some acting lessons and everything? And again, to that, I would say that is absolutely, totally valid questioning and criticism because if we're going to focus on the ring work of some of the big guys, boy, oh boy, Vince, do I got a story to tell you about 90% of your crappy roster that you got? Why the hell are they in promo school every day, all the damn time? Why aren't you taking them to acting school every day, all the damn time? Because these guys and gals, so many of them, desperately, badly, obviously need work in both of those categories. Now, personally, I find it a little interesting that a guy like Keith Lee, who came up you know, wrestling in the indies for years, that seems to have pretty good cred and respect in terms of his ring work, granted on the indies, yes, but the indie style in a lot of ways is also WWE style now, because people just know how to do spots. They don't know how to really work. They don't really know how to tell stories. So I'm really surprised that he was that disappointed with Keith Lee and that he was specifically singling him out. You know, and I was a little surprised too with Otis because Otis's shtick is not really about being a great worker or being a great wrestler. Like, that's not what it should be about. You should be sending him down to learn how to better incorporate, perhaps, his character into what he does in the ring. But you want to emphasize the character. You want to emphasize the personality. You want to emphasize the charisma. Like, again, speak to the strengths. Build to the strengths. That's what I would think you should be doing, not just always working on the damn weaknesses or opportunity areas. I just don't get, though, why this is such a big deal. You know, I think I saw Hurricane Helms and I believe he's back with the company now. So you got to take this with a grain of salt because, you know, obviously wherever he's at, he's going to kind of toe the company line a little bit. But in this particular case, I don't think he was off when he was sitting there referencing in a tweet that once you make it to the NBA, NFL, NHL, MLB, et cetera, you don't stop practicing just because you made it there. You have to practice every bit as hard, if not harder, in order to maintain and stay there. And he's absolutely right. Like, to me, this is a whole bunch of bitching and a big nothing burger. Wouldn't you want these guys and gals to get better? Wouldn't you want them to work on their craft? Wouldn't you want them to be the best that they possibly could be? Wouldn't you want them to get more real hands-on type of experience that they're currently not getting because they're not working house shows across the country and around the world? Like, what's the gripe here? What's the complaint here? If the complaint is you feel like Keith Lee's being singled out, well, A, he's not the only one. B, some of the other names listed certainly need work. C, all of them need work that, were, that I've seen named. D, I could argue again, except for a couple individuals, every single damn one of them need work. So they should all be down there. So if your gripe is, is why are you just singling out these few people, Vince, when you got people that have been on your television for years that still absolutely suck, that's a valid criticism. Absolutely valid. If your criticism is, why are we focusing on this instead of sending our creative to school so they can learn how to freaking write? Valid criticism. 
If you're going to say, well, then why aren't you sending everybody else on the damn roster for the most part to acting school or to promo school because God knows they all need the work. Valid criticism. Absolutely valid. But to sit there and say, like, this is a racist thing or this is stupid, one, no, it's not. You have plenty of other things to point at with Vince to talk about his racism and uh, discrimination and prejudicial treatment over the years. This ain't one of them. So let that go. It doesn't help your case when you bring up crap that is unrelated to talk about the stuff that really is related that you really have a valid case to make. Like, this is dumb. Like, I realize as part of a wrestling community, you know, sometimes we look for things to rage about and everybody's got to have an opinion about everything. But, like, to me, this is the height and the peak of, you know, just sheer Mark stupidity. Like, you're going to get mad because he sent talent down to work on their stuff when they don't have house shows to practice right now. Now, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things because the one thing that you can't change is the mindset of Vince McMahon and just how he changes at the drop of a hat, how he doesn't know what he wants to do from one moment to the next, how impulsive he is, how incredibly, increasingly irrational he is in terms of what he wants to see. Nobody knows what the hell he wants. So even if you send these guys down, they could bust their tails for six months and show significant market improvement. And all of a sudden, Vince still isn't going to like it. Again, that is valid criticism. So if you're bitching about any of those other things that I talked about that are valid criticism, go ahead. That's fine. But bitching to bitch just because he sent talent down to work? We're better than that. Stop it.